Yesterday, I wasn't even sure that I wanted to travel any farther north on my trip. But this morning, we drove over five hours into Dawson City, Yukon, and boy, am I glad I did. Because Dawson City officially became the number one top destination that I have ever traveled in my van over the last six and a half years. This place is crazy awesome. But when I came here, I had no plans on running my camera tonight. I was just going to walk around and take a calm night to myself. But then I ran into some locals that said, no way, grab your camera. We're going to go party tonight, just like the locals do. The sidewalks are boardwalks. The streets are dirt no matter where you freaking turn. I am in Dawson City, way the heck up north here in the Yukon. And holy freaking crap. I never expected this when I got here. This place is huge. And I always wondered why they wrote city beside the word Dawson. So I'm excited to show you guys this place over the next few days. I just arrived here just now and subscribers already invited me out. We're gonna get run over in the middle of the road. Already invited me out to show me how the locals do it. So let's go. Dawson City is situated right on the Yukon River and has a small population of 1,400 people that call this place home all year round. And the summer season out here is pretty short. They see tourists starting around June and then the last of them kind of leave mid-September because snow comes very early out here. And this place even has the longest running casino in Canadian history. And yeah, we're going to go there tonight too. But I was a little bit worried when they said we're going to go all over town tonight and show you how we do it out here in the Klondike. So buckle up, my friends. Tonight is one, one heck of a ride. Getting a little tiny taste on how the locals do it, but we're not done yet. In Dawson City, there is a like <laughs> big, huge tradition here where <laughs> there's this, is this called the Sour Dough Saloon? And they have a sour toe cocktail. Legit, it's a freaking dead toe, like frost bitten, broken human off toe. someone's foot, human toe that you put inside of a drink and then you gotta drink it and that toe has to touch your lip. I am not doing it, but it's his son's birthday today, and if you can get him to do it, I will buy it. <laughs> I'm tracking him. Done right deal. Now. That's where he's at. That's where he's at. <laughs> Let's go find him. He's at Diamond Tooth Gertie's. Party spot number two. Oh, what did you do? Uh oh, oh. It me. It's the shirt. <laughs> <laughs> Man, this place is lost in time. That is a pretty sick rig. Oh my gosh, look at the uh, the honeycomb camo at the bottom. Man, this thing is awesome. Look at that. These are awesome and they're all over town. Wooden boardwalks everywhere. So apparently there's a guy here called the captain. He's like, the captain of the tow and he's not in today, he wasn't feeling very well. So no gross, disgusting, rotted, whatever you want to call it, fermented tow for you today. <laughs> I'm gonna order you a shot of liquor and stick my toe in it. This, this, we can't have this. Tell you what, I'll put my toe in it too and boom, close enough. So, so this gentleman said he lost a portion of his finger the other day and offered to throw it in a drink for this young fella. Okay, so a monument, That's a noble thing to do, sir. Here. Oh my gosh, you seriously? Five swallowed, three stolen, one lost. Look, where did it go? We got one stolen about a year ago, and it was all it was all over social media, and the guy felt so bad that he mailed it back. No way. Wow. That's disgusting. Five of them have been swallowed. That's gross. 
Yeah, uh, well, the captain donated all ten of his. We get a lot of ours. To what? Yeah. When he passed, when the original the captain original Dick captain. passed away, he donated all ten of his toes. No way. They're in the back. <laughs> in the uh, cooler. In in salt. Yeah, that's awesome. Um, but you know, we get them through uh, anonymous donations, amputations, um, no gangrene. Uh, so like they're all healthy toes when they get hacked off. That's insane. Yeah, when, when I read online that there was like 25 of them were, were, were been donated, I'm like, oh, what the heck? We were cleaning up the kitchen. How long do they last? Uh, well, if you keep <laughs> if you keep them in salt, they'll keep indefinitely. Yeah. That's true, eh? Right? The yeah. original one was uh, pretty old, actually. Oh, they deteriorated after a while. Yeah. These sidewalks are like... Yeah, they're so slanted here. I imagine in the wintertime, like, yeah. <laughs> dog playing out here, waiting yeah. for their master. Coming out of the pub at the end of the night. <laughs> a lot of times when I hit small towns like this, I look in the front door of a bar like this, and I'm like, yeah, I'm not going to go in there. It's where the locals go, and I don't want to say something slick and get into a bar fight. But this place was super charming. Everybody was very friendly, and the locals here in Dawson City made me feel like I'm one of them. You got hot dogs in the little rotisserie there, bro. Yes, sir. Best hot dogs in town. <laughs> Dude, those are awesome. <laughs> Dog. I got a bar wiener. I got a bar wiener. Is that the Dawson City way? Yeah, that's it. <laughs> Don't dip your hot dog in your beer. It's not very good. Cheers. Cheers to another night in Dawson. So I was just notified that in the town of Dawson City, you can actually use the, the poker chips from Gertie's as tender in town. That is legitimate, legitimate tender. That like you can buy stuff anywhere in town using... That's insane, dude. That's insane. It's like adult Chuck E. Cheese. Like, you know? <laughs> like adult Chuck E. Cheese. I feel like I'm forgetting something. Dawson City Honky Tonk. What the freaking heck? I love this city, look at it. Just free, just take your own. I love this place. This town was a whole experience, let me tell you. And watching the can-can dancers there flipping the front of their dresses up, back in the day, that was very risque. Nowadays, you can see more just walking down the side of a road. But back in the day, that was a bound chicka wow wow. You know what's messed up? It's 11 o'clock at night, and it's still light outside. Have a bunch of these when I was a kid. Those style ones, though. Uh-oh. <laughs> 
What are you doing? All right, since when did speed walking become a sport? <laughs> are you serious? Go, 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 go! <laughs> it's freaking midnight in Dawson City and it looks like sunset. Hi, handsome. Hi. What's up, little buddy? What's up, Cruzy? <laughs> this was not at all my plan tonight. I just happened to pull into Dawson City and ran into multiple subscribers and then they invited me out to show me what the locals do at night. We literally hit just about every single spot we could in town that the locals hang out at. What a freaking blast. They had can-can dancers at the casino. My gosh, it was so fun. Okay, we're gonna pause this one for the night. We'll pick this one up. Guys, I'm going to bed. I'll see you in the morning. Hello, good morning. <laughs> this town makes me, makes me smile. That's insane. Boardwalks on the sidewalks and dirt roads. Hopefully nobody's out for a walk this morning. <laughs> That's freaking awesome. Last night was an experience that I would have never have had if I didn't meet subscribers out here. I don't think I would have bounced from bar to bar like that. It was so cool to see all the local spots from the locals. It was wild, but the amount of places to drink in this town is insane. Some places close at nine, some places close at 11, some places close at two o'clock in the morning. But this is definitely a town where they do spend a lot of time with a drink in their hand. Where the heck are we? Like, this place is unbelievable. Like, I... <laughs> crazy. And uh, I guess there's a few stray dogs and stuff that walk around town here. Um, one's just up there. He's an orange guy. I can't remember what his name is. Charlie, I can't remember what his name is. Just some local pups. There he is right there. Yeah, he's just lying on the boardwalk up there in front of the bar. <laughs> that was one of the bars we're at last night. That one was called The Pit. After the day I had the other day, I really needed that night of unwinding last night. So Dan and Tina, thanks for taking me out in the town. And for you guys on YouTube, I know I didn't introduce you to them, but you will meet them more in tomorrow's video. Dawson City, you are awesome. And that's the saloon that we were at last night that had the Sour Toe Cocktail. What a story this town has, and really freaking <laughs> disgusting if you ask me. little places for sale we could do a weirdos unite store out here <laughs> hey you can come buy weirdo merchandise here in Dawson City oh man this place just makes you smile my gosh but I met so many amazing people yesterday I ran into some subscribers of ours from Nanaimo that were traveling out here they were in a pretty rad little pro master they were pretty awesome Tim nice to meet you buddy anyway guys I don't know if I got anything more for you guys in this video me and Cruz, you're enjoying a nice morning walk here, but there will definitely be more of Dawson City in the next video on this channel. Thanks for uh, thanks for partying with me and some of the locals out here. Look it over there. It's just another street of just total cuteness. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. That's all we got. Peace out.